with Andrew Wiebe. All right, thanks, Adrian. Now, Twelman, Doyle, they say you're taking Dylan Nealis. You're on the clock right now, Paul. The number three overall pick in the 2020 MLS Super Draft will be... Can't argue with them. We're going to go with Dylan Nealis. Dylan Nealis. Back to you guys. First time ever. Paul McDonough <laughs> agreed with Matt Doyle. <laughs> Uh, Nealis. Yeah. No, no great surprise, obviously, although yeah. the DK train is still rolling. The, the DK train is, in fact, still rolling. You can see him here with his Look family. Look at Grandma. Grandma's living the dream. Grandma and all the aunties are yeah. having a good time. They've done this before. And, yeah. and I think that's part of the appeal here is, like, you, you want to have – you're not looking for a guy who's going to be an MLS All-Star ten, ten times. You're looking for a guy who's going to stay in the league for ten years, is yeah. going to soak up minutes, going to make you better on the attack, and hopefully, as you said, Taylor, can't defend one on one v one if he can do that then he's going to make this team better mm. yeah and i think when you look at nealis and, and how he played at georgetown i i still am going to compare him to a fellow georgetown rosenberry yep. and i actually think nealis has a bigger upside and may be a better player than rosenberry was coming into major league soccer but again this is all about miami and what they do at the top of that roster yeah. if they do what they want to do at the top of the roster now you're looking at these solid picks for me. They help you on the USL level. They help you in the Open Cup, which that competition they want to desperately win. I like these picks, and I think McDonough knows what he's getting out of college. His track record speaks much larger than anything I'm going to say about Paul McDonough, and I, I, I just like the way he went about this, and I know Matt disagrees with DK and Robinson. I, I think